Welcome everyone to another session of the Product Management View webinar series. Every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, product management professionals can pick up the latest in thought leadership tips and tricks. Rob Bernstein is VP Product Marketing at Success Factors and brings over a decade of experience in enterprise software applications. His primary experience is in product marketing, systems implementation, information systems strategies. Rob has worked in product marketing at Siebel Systems where he directed product marketing and management activities for the Siebel Employee Relationship Management line of business. As a management consultant at McKinsey and & Company and Accenture, Rob helped global organizations apply technology, solutions to their business and goals. Rob has a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Systems and an MBA from Harvard Business School. Take it away, Rob. Thank you so much, James. I'm very excited to speak to this group this, uh, this morning and afternoon for many of the folks about driving product innovation. We have a pretty straightforward agenda that I'm hoping to cover with you over the course of the next hour and, of course, take your questions at the end. I want to talk about what is the strategic value of product management. I want to take a step back and think about what are the real aspects that a core product management team, whether it be the product managers, the directors, and VPs, what do they really bring to the table and what is their span of control within an organization? I want to talk about seizing that span of control. We want to cover what is the traditional product management cycle and how we can make changes to that and impact that through innovation. We want to talk about changes and how to make changes. And of course, the first aspect of making changes, understanding what are the barriers and what are the roadblocks. And so we'll discuss those as well. I want to take a look at the consumer model and lessons we can take away from the consumer model when thinking about enterprise software and enterprise innovation. We'll talk about sustainable competitive advantage through products, and we'll talk about building a task force that can really deliver innovation throughout an enterprise. Last but not least, we'll cover end user feedback that's critical in making innovation real, and we'll cover what it takes to really build an internal case for change within your organization, no matter, no matter how large or small that organization may be. So let's get started. Let's talk about the strategic value of product management. We all know in product management, we sit right at the center of the organization, right in between two core areas of development. And what I mean by development is the engineering side that actually creates the product. They are creating products that product management specifies. They're creating products that are going to change the world, if you will. And on the other hand, we have the organization that's developing our customers, the sales organization. We're delivering these products to those folks to have them go out and evangelize in the world as to why they should think, why customers should think about purchasing our product. So in many ways, product management is really the CEO of a certain aspect of the organization. If you're working within a, a large company of 10,000, 20,000 uh, people, for example, and you're a product manager, you are still the CEO, the CEO of your specific area within the enterprise. If you're working with a small company, 10 people, 20 people, you might actually be the CEO. In fact, the CEO is the first product manager typically in an organization. They're responsible for what gets developed and what gets sold. So let's take a look at some of these aspects. You're responsible for the strategy of a solution that's going to accelerate sales, obviously bring in revenue, and then help evolve the product over time. What might be required on day one is different than what's required a month in, a year in, two years in, as customer uh, needs change as well as new technologies come to bear. You're also responsible for delivering very clear prioritization to the development team at the right time. So the developers know exactly how to focus their time on delivering value. You have to have a deep understanding of what are the common processes and hopefully even the best practices that your customers are interesting, interested in deploying through your solution. So you have to be able to communicate those processes to the engineering organization for development. You have to be able to map those processes directly to products through functional and technical specifications. And you have to, pro uh, you have to document the productized best practices so that sales knows how to communicate them to prospects. So not only do the usage scenarios you design in, in working with uh, engineering